Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another drop list video the series where I cover all the items that are releasing for a specific week for various different streetwear brands and in today's video I'm going to be covering everything that is dropping in week one of Supreme's fall winter 2022 collection. <laughs> well, I wanted to get straight into it, guys. I wanted to start talking about the release details, the pieces, my thoughts and opinions, but I have been asking for like the past couple uploads if we could hit the subscriber milestone of 3,415 subs, and you guys came in overnight, so <laughs> I gotta take a moment out of this video quite quickly to say thank you to the public and the private subscribers. I, I wouldn't be able to hit this milestone without you guys. Without your constant support, I would not have been able to hit 3,415 subs. So you deserve a minute in this video, or maybe two, maybe two minutes. <laughs> but thank you for helping me reach 3,415. I honestly, I thought we were gonna get stuck on that milestone. I'm like, will we actually hit 3,500 before the end of the year? I don't know, man, but hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we can. I'm not going to set 3,500 as the next subscriber milestone, obviously. <laughs> I'm just going to ask for five more from the previous milestone. So can we hit 3,420? I mean, we've got about a week left of, of August. Can we hit it before the end of August? Hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we can. All right, okay, let's actually get into the meat of this video, which is covering Supreme's biggest week of their latest season. Week one of their fall winter 2022 collection. Now, we recently covered the lookbook. There were a lot of pieces, more specifically outwear, that I was quite keen on. Um, I'm keen to see what they're gonna be dropping in week one. Now, I feel like it's gonna be some of the heavy hitting pieces like uh, maybe the leather varsity jacket that we saw. I doubt the Jeff Hamilton jacket will release in week one because as much as it is a big monumental piece showcased in the lookbook, I feel like they're gonna have a Jeff Hamilton week. That sounds more Supreme-like. So probably not in the first week. We'll just have to see. We're gonna find out in today's video what they're gonna be dropping. So we'll cover the release details, all the individual pieces, and my thoughts and opinions on the pieces and the week as a whole. Now, let's get into it. Let's start covering the release details for week one. Okay, here we are, just like the past couple seasons, or the past couple years at this point, <laughs> we're using a Supreme Community page to cover the drop list. Now, um, if you guys wanna vote on the items yourselves, they'll be linked down in the description section below, so you can vote on the items there. We'll just quickly cover the release details for week one. The items releasing in week one will have an online release 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the US, 4 p.m. British Standard Time, and 5 p.m. Central European Standard Time for the EU on August 25th, 2022. It releases two days later on the Saturday for Japan. They will get it in store and online, 11 a.m. Japanese Standard Time. Uh, if you guys have any further questions on when and where it's dropping, drop them down in that comment section below. If you're like me and you're Australian, well, you got to miss out. <laughs> Unless you got a plug. Unless you got someone who lives in the US, the UK, or uh, in Japan, um, then yeah. Or if you got a proxying service, you can use that to pick it up. But if you're like me, well, you're going to be missing out anyway. But we can kind of just watch from afar and enjoy. But anyway, that is all the release details for week one. Um, We've got to cover the pieces now. We've got to get into it. So we'll cover them just like we did last season by going through the individual sections. There's going to be a lot to talk about. It's the biggest week of the season. It's going to have the most sections. Um, I think the only section it's missing out on is shoes. I think it literally has every category that they normally have except for shoes. So yeah, we've got a lot. Let's just get straight into it. Let's start talking about the hats releasing in week one. Which, yeah, geez, we have quite a few. Like, yeah, the most you'll ever probably get in a Supreme Week. We've got, what, nine? Looks like it. Okay, let's get into it. We've got the Silicon Stripe Crusher. I actually don't know why this is super downvoted. I think this is all right. This is okay. I've got no beef with this. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. We've got the Webbing Camp Cap. Uh, the colors are nice. Very nice color choice, but 
the yeah the band with the supreme branding all over it man not so much we've got the transport mesh back five panel and yeah it's that one's gonna be a down vote for me as well moving on we have the rainbow speckle beanie um so it's gonna be a beanie with little bits of rainbow speckly bits in the uh stitching you're only gonna really notice that when you get super close to it i don't really have an issue with it so i'll give it a thumbs up on that one you know can't complain We've got the overdyed patch beanie, a very overdyed beanie with a supreme patch on it that is monotoned. It doesn't have a contrasting branding on it. I actually like this. This is not too bad. I'm gonna give this a thumbs up. We got the brushed Cordura small box six panel. I can't complain about it. Solid colors, monotone um, color for the most part besides the strap. What's there to complain about? Thumbs up from me on that one. Uh, we've got the classic Team 5 panel. I, I don't have anything against the font style of this one. It's a nice cap. I'm going to give it a thumbs up on that one. Next we've got the washed Chino Twill Camp Cap. Okay, you can miss me with the zebra. You can miss me... Actually, that's probably the only colour. <laughs> the rest are alright. I actually like the plum over here. The orange is nice. The rest of the colours are pretty solid. I can't complain about that. That's nice. We've got the S Logo New Era um, over here. I'm trying to find something to fault it on, but it's okay. It's an okay new era. I'll give it a thumbs up. I don't think it's the best hat this week, but a lot of people are really feeling it. Uh, that is all the hats releasing in week one. Actually a pretty consistent uh, hat section for week one. I will move on to the next section for week one, which is the tops slash sweaters. Mm, and they always kind of struggle here to release nice pieces in this area. This <laughs> <laughs> There's always just some wacky ass stuff thrown into this section. Anyway, we've got the two-tone ribbed zip-up sweater. Uh, I'm agreeing with the Supreme community on this one. Actually, I'm going to agree with the Supreme community on these bottom three. These bottom three, no. It's just a no. We've got the abstract striped cardigan. Um, I can get around this in like the green or the black. Really any of the colors I could kind of get around. Like it could just be that fun piece to have. I'll give it a thumbs up. 200 USD is a bit expensive for a Supreme one, but it's all right. We've got the mock neck long sleeve top, single colored, a little bit of Supreme branding, mock neck. So not turtleneck, but not a crew neck either. So a little bit up. It's like a, it's like a half turtleneck in a way. I don't know why this is so downvoted. I have no problems with this at all. We have the lion's den short sleeve top. This I have an issue with. This is hideous. <laughs> but some people like it because of that reason. For me, not so much. I like simple tees, nice tees. I can't do something like that. Moving up, we have the No Love short sleeve top. Uh, it, look, it's simplistic. It's got a heart with a cross through it. Um, I, I like this. This is nice. Uh, it comes in some nice colors. But the small box logo tee coming in some nice colors. You can't fault it. We've got the Mary rhinestone short sleeve top with Mary with a, I think it's a hood that have, has the rhinestones on it. I could get around this with the black or white. This, it's some solid tees. Some solid tees releasing in this first week. Uh, except for the bottom part. We, we, can, uh, we can ignore that. <laughs> this part here, not too bad. Moving down. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Overall, 66%. That's pretty good for a percentage. Uh, for how many are popping? We'll take it. Anyway, that's the tops slash sweaters. So let's move into the shorts. Mm, yeah, uh, the soccer shorts. No, the small box logo shorts. It's all right. I can't complain about it. I'll give it a thumbs up. It's all right. It's all right. Um, they're the only shorts releasing this week, though. Let's move into the collared shirts. We have a couple releasing this week. We have the is it Larex short sleeve shirt. Uh, yeah, I'm going to agree with the Supreme community on that one. It's got some okay colors, but the texture or material choice here is making it look a little, a little bit too funky for me. We've got the plaid flannel shirt. I've got nothing to complain about this. The colors could be better. They're kind of wacky out there. 128 bucks is a bit much, but you know, if someone was selling it for like half the price, get around it. Small box logo shirt. Have they ever done this before? I can't remember if they've ever done this before. I'll get around it. It's still 128 bucks. These are like, look, the heavenly silk polo. I don't know what 
uh, Supreme silk ratio is, if it's 100% or less on their silk skirts, that was 158 US dollars. That's 128, like, you know what I mean? Like, for such a better material and such a comfier material, it's very little in price difference when you know these are going to be made out of cotton, for sure. But anyway, this one here, sick that they're using silk on a polo. Um, they should do more silk in Supreme releases. They need to do more silk and round button-ups. How do I feel about a polo with this heavenly graphic on it? I can't do it, I'm sorry. I, I yeah, that is just not me. <laughs> just just not me. But yeah, that is all the college shirts releasing in week one, guys. Let's move on to the pen. Yeah, which we have quite a few of as well. Um, diving into the first one, we have the Jacquard panel track pants. Yeah, no. We have the elephant sweatpants. That's a no. We have the stonewashed black slim jeans. Look, man, I love it. But these legs are not slim and they are not fitting in some slim jeans. I'll tell you what, I struggle to fit in to a size 40 504. I can fit into the 501s, no problem. But even with that smaller rise section, it just gets way too tight and I can't even close them up. So I am definitely not fitting in those anytime soon. We've got the two tone paneled jeans. I love the panels. I kind of wish that these took like a, I want to say low rise cut just to like pull it back to the early 2000s with these panels and stuff. I really like the washed out look. I do like the look of these now. I just, yeah, I really like the panels. I wish that we had various different variations of this jeans, you know, like a wide fitting cut, a low rise cut, like all these different cuts. Cause that's, yeah, I really like those jeans. Those are really nice. Anyway, moving on, we have some regular jeans. These are okay. I'll give them a thumbs up. We've got some rigid slim jeans in an indigo color, which is quite nice. 158 bucks slim again i can't fit into slim but i'll give it a thumbs up for the indigo next we've got the supreme griffin 5 pocket jeans uh these are absolutely wild uh crazy that it comes in like a camo color as well but the black and the green i'm kind of feeling it it's a very unique pair of jeans i haven't seen something like this before Got the stonewashed slim jeans i love the wash on that i really want to get a pair of stonewashed jeans um, they're actually just harder to find in my size than I thought they would actually be. But, uh, yeah, I'll give them a thumbs up. That's a nice pair of jeans, even though they're slim. Definitely not going to fit into them. <laughs> and, uh, last but not least, we've got the S logo sweatpants. Uh, I don't know why this is the most upvoted piece this week. I don't think it's that good. I think there are way better pants, like the two-tone ones and the, um, and the regular jeans here that are better. This, um... And leave it as a downvote. I'll move, uh, yeah, I just, yeah, I, there are better pants releasing this week. We've seen it before. I don't need it. Anyway, that is all the pants releasing in week one, guys. We'll move on to the accessory now. We've got quite a few releasing in week one. So to kick it off with, of course, we have the Hanes tagless tees. Simple tees. Give them a thumbs up. Why not? Supreme Hanes Crinex socks. Twenty bucks. Easy done. Supreme Haynes bandana tagless tees. I can't, sorry. Bandana tees, it just, I don't know. Not for me. We've got the Supreme Bar, uh, is it Bar, Barbaria? Olive oil? <laughs> Olive oil. Amazing. Amazing. We've got the Supreme uh, Nebo Slim 1200 pocket light. I'm not going to use that. I've got a pocket, I've got a flashlight on my phone. I don't need one that's more hectic than that. Uh, the Hanes boxer briefs. No, I'm not, I can't rock Supreme underwear, man. Uh, it just looks goofy to me. We've got the Supreme Toyo Steel T3, uh, T320 toolbox. 50 bucks. I'm not going to use a toolbox, man. Come on, let's be real. When am I ever going to get the tools out and fix something? Come on. we got the uh, Ten, Tenuki towel set of two for 48 bucks. I would never use it. I'm going to be real. I mean, it's not that I dislike these accessories. It's just like, when am I going to use these? Like, save the money. We've got the Supreme Haynes bandana boxer briefs. I can't. You guys are so keen on it. Like, look at all those votes, man. I can't. I, <laughs> I, I could not be seen rocking that. I could not. Uh, I'd much rather be wearing these over these. I, the bandana. Let me know if you can do the bandana. But I... Yeah. I'll leave it at that. We've got the Supreme TY Beanie Baby. Um, 
I know, yeah, you guys are really keen on this. 18 bucks. I don't want a beanie baby. I don't want a supreme beanie baby. Um, you, you all can just pick it up, but I have no use for it. I'm not going to fill my room up with stuff that I don't need like this. I fill it up with enough clothing that I don't need. <laughs> uh, so that's why I'm very, very uh, critical on these accessories. But uh, yeah, nothing that I could really see myself using besides the olive oil. You know, whipping up some food with that supreme olive oil. But yeah, apart from that... Yeah, I, I, it's a miss for me. I know you guys will feel very differently. Let me know in that comment section below. We'll move on now to the skate gear releasing in week one. We have quite a few releasing in week one. Of course, we've got the Supreme Independent Trucks. Thumbs up on that. We've got the Elephant Skateboard. All right, it's not too crazy. I'll give it a thumbs up because it's like the best elephant graphic piece that I've seen so far. Got the Supreme Spitfire uh, wheels instead of four, obviously, because imagine if you had to buy every single wheel, that would suck. Uh, thumbs up for me on that one. Got the Trash Skateboard. I actually really like this one. Um, this would be a nice wall piece. It's a really nice photo there with all this trash and the uh, Statue of Liberty in the background. Thumbs up for me on that one. That is a nice piece. And then we got the Box Logo T-shirt skateboard. So it's a skateboard with a Box Logo T-shirt on it. Crazy. I'm actually a fan of that though, it's a cool cool way of handling it. Uh, that is all the skate gear releasing this week guys, let's move into the jacket. You know that this is my favourite section, <laughs> or one of my favourite sections, it's the section I come to Supreme Ball for the most. Uh, okay, so we have the Jacquard panel track jacket, that's a no from me. I knew it was Gons, I was saying like Supreme is his like motif he uses all the time. There we go, 500 bucks though? Yeah, I'm going to agree with the Supreme community on that one. We've got the two-tone panel denim jacket. Uh, I'm a fan of this. I like it in the red. The red is my favorite color, uh, but the other colors are nice as well. I really wish this paneling, this wash, all this stuff was done on like a type one denim jacket. You know, one that's like crops off at the, uh, at the waist area or just above the belt. I'm a fan. I wish it was like that. It's obviously going to be more of a like type three regular cut, but like yeah i wish it was a type one that would have been absolutely sick that would have been my favorite part about it but uh yeah solid color solid paneling i like it moving on we have the studded quilted leather jacket oh yes leather jacket yes please <laughs> can i pay that retail price right now no but i love it <laughs> it's gonna be one of my favorite pieces this season it in the bone Ooh. I love that color. That's fantastic. The black is nice as well. The red is a little bit too much for me. Red just screams like early 2000s hip hop music video. I don't know if I could do the red. I like I could do the red, but it, it's definitely my least favorite color. I would still rock it though. White's my favorite. Black's my second. Red's my least favorite. But yeah, I'm going to give that one a thumbs up. And we got the Supreme Gr uh, Griffin Anrak. I like the pants. The Anrak. Not so much. I couldn't see myself rocking something like that. I do like the pants though. The pants were cool. But that is all the jackets releasing in week one, guys. We've only got three more sections left to cover. Let's check out the sweatshirts. We have quite a few of releasing in week one, of course. To start off with, we have the elephant hooded sweatshirt. That's going to be a no from me. We've got the state hooded sweatshirt with the huge font uh, or huge arms. Uh, huge arms? Huge logos over the arms which says Supreme and then State on the other uh, side of it. I don't know, that's a no from me. We got the Supreme Griffin zip up hooded sweatshirt. I actually like this and I don't mind that it's a zip up hoodie. I think that's actually working well for the piece instead of working against it. Uh, I like it in the white, I like it in the black. The camo-y color one, not so much, but yeah, I'll give that one a thumbs up. That's a solid piece. We got the small box logo crew neck. Yeah, it's a nice easy crew neck to rock. Got the uh, Milano half zip pullover. Actually, don't mind this one as well, but I probably wouldn't pick it up. But I'll give it a thumbs up. Like it's a nice little piece there. Uh, and then we have the S logo hooded sweatshirt with the devil horns. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right. Definitely not my favorite hoodie this week. Clearly the community's favorite hoodie, but yeah, I think my favorite one would probably be actually the zip up one down here. It's just kind of crazy, isn't it? Uh, anyway, that is all the sweatshirts releasing in this week. Let's move into our second final section, which is the bags. Now moving into the bags, guys. I hate to be so harsh on this section. It's not that I... 
I just wouldn't wear any of these bags. So I'm, I, I'm gonna give it a down vote because I wouldn't wear any of them, but they're not bad. They're not bad bags um, that, yeah, I'm just not a bag guy. Uh, I just never have enough stuff on me to, to need a bag. <laughs> so each to their own. Uh, the only one that I would maybe rock is like the large tall tote, the duffel maybe. But I'm pretty comfortable with the Supreme um, large duffel that I got in like 2018. So yeah, I'd, I'll just never need another Supreme bag ever again because like this Cordura one has just lasted me, you know? Like it's a very, very solid bag. So when I do need one for traveling, that's the one I go with. So yeah, that's just how I feel about the bags this week. Nice colors, okay branding. Uh, we'll move on now. Let's go into the t-shirt. And the last section we have the t-shirts so quite a few releasing in this first week kick it off with we have this wombat tee with all these different supreme logos on it yeah uh we have the is it joy de viver tee don't know what that says there get down vote for me We've got the braces tee with braces with a huge roll of cash in the mouth I look in different colors. I could actually probably get around something like this. So I'm gonna give it a thumbs up on that one. We've got the elephant tee, wearing some huge Tims. Really? People are feeling this? Man, I can't, I can't, it's, it's, I can't. It's just not my personality, man. We've got the warning tee. I'll get around that in some different colors. The trash tee, absolutely. Uh, the slap shot tee with the uh, speeding font. I can get around that in some other colors. The Catwoman tee, absolutely. Good time. The Andre 3000, Mr. Three Stacks himself, a half of Outcast. Yes, absolutely want that photo tee. <laughs> Will I ever be able to get it? No, absolutely not. I, I, I would have more luck going for the Outcast, uh, is it, was it Pleasures collab that came out a while ago, than going for the Supreme one. Honestly, I could probably still find the Pleasures one available somewhere. This, that's going to be impossible to get, but it's a very nice tee nonetheless. Anyway, there we go, guys. That is week one. Honestly, not as monumental as I thought it would be. Uh, they didn't stack it with as many as heavy hitting pieces as they have in previous seasons, but um, there are some still some big pieces here. I loved the two-tone denim pants and jacket. Here they are here and there. Love the colors on those. Love the studded quilted leather jacket. That is definitely me. I would love it in the in the white, but that retail price is whew, very, very large there. Um, we've got the tees were nice. The graphic tees were nice. Uh, I actually like that zip up hoodie in the white and, and the black. Nice colors there. Um, the no love one's fun. Uh, the warning tees fun. Uh, Ooh, the hats were good. The hats were good this week. Uh, the skate gear stuff was good. I'm never big on the accessories or bags, so I'm skipping that. And of course, the Andre 3000 photo tee. Very, very nice as well. I would love more photo tees. But anyway, that is everything releasing in week one, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on week one and the pieces releasing in week one down in that comment section below. But that is everything to say about uh, week one of Supreme's fall winter 2022 season, guys. We covered the release details. It's releasing on the 25th for most of the world and the 27th for Japan. Uh, we covered all the pieces that are expected to release. Um, it's not always correct. It's very hard to actually get the correct information before it drops, but this is the most likely uh, pieces well, this is the most likely drop list for week one. Mo the most likely pieces that'll drop in week one. So I would be there if any of the pieces that you saw in this drop list video are dropping and you want them, just in case. Um, hopefully it's all correct. Ho there might be one or two pieces that aren't being released that got showcased in the video. Uh, and we covered my thoughts and opinions as well on week one. Um, yeah, it's not the most craziest week one we've ever seen, but there's a lot of nice pieces releasing in this week. Um, how many weeks do we think there's going to be in the Supreme, in this Supreme season? Well, we're in August, we've got four months left. If there's four weeks per month, that gives us a minimum of 12. I think 18, could that be right? Could we fit 18 weeks? Could we do that? Or maybe it'll be like a 16 week season, a little short one. Maybe. 
maybe. I don't know, we'll have to see. Anyway, if you are going for something this week, I'd love to hear what you're going to be picking up in what size, color, etc, etc. Let me know down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep cover, uh, if you guys want me to keep covering the upcoming Supreme Weeks, seasons, collabs, everything like that, it's just going to give me the three indicators I always ask you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and the best indicator of them all, subscribe to the channel. Of course, if you haven't already. Now, as mentioned at the start of this video, we're trying to aim for the new subscriber milestone of 3,420 subs. Hopefully, with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone for the end of August. But that's everything I gotta say about week one, guys. I wish you the best of luck if you are going for something this week. Hopefully, you're able to pick it up in the size and color you are after. But until the next Supreme video, until the next Streetwear Talk video, until the next Drop List video, guys, I'll catch you later.